Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Finals. We got the bottom left hand corner, Herb Mon starting as the purple Zerg, bottom right hand corner. We got ranged starting as the, I feel like the color should be swapped here, even though purple is a very standard Zerg color. We got the peach Protoss or skin tone Protoss. This is going to be an apocalypse, a three player map that has a, and I'm going to favor Herb Mon a little bit on this map. Not because I don't think ranged is very capable of running a bunch of shenanigans, but this is a rampless map that has a very wide ramp. And Urbmon has been very successful uh, in getting a lot of interesting Zergling runbys. I had a rant just prior to this and chat's letting me know that I'm overly philosophical, which I agree. I have a problem with that. Actually, that was not the natural expansion. This is the natural expansion. I think I showed what was the third there as well. We're warming up today. Range looks like he's staging to go for a gateway first. I think that is a wise decision on this map in particular. Urbmon going for the drone cancel, but suggests he's going to go for the nine pool opener. This, and it looks like, so one nice thing about this is I think the timing of the Overlord is such that by the time it ends up in a top position, and it kind of works out for ranged as well with the gateway first opener, is even if this probe ends up scouting the wrong direction initially, He's able to find out information otherwise. And this is interesting. It's a extra drone into overpool rather than an extra drone into nine pool. So a few additional resources wanting to get eked out. And Urban actually turning it into a 10 hatchery. Is this correct? Yeah, okay. In, well, barely 11 hatchery. So wanting a few extra minerals to get a faster hatchery down. That might help circumvent the initial zealot problems. I'll be interested to see whether it's... Because usually you do not see the drone extractor trick on that opening play, but this might end up favoring ranged overall. The one reason Zerg have moved towards the pool opener to start is because of the early game harassment and actually ranged doing a fantastic job of delaying that spawning pool a few additional seconds. And a few additional seconds can be absolutely everything on this map. So now Urban sending out a scout. Now that he's got nothing at the natural expansion, he needs to, out of necessity... Needs to also save Larva right this second, so he has sufficient... I think at this timing, so that he's going to have sufficient Zerglings, and in the meantime, range being very, very annoying with this probe to the, to the point where he's getting a dedicated drone. Another drone actually staging to go ahead and drop... This could be disastrous. He's going to drop a third hatchery before... And I'm curious if that's going to eat into minerals for additional Zerglings as well. This sell it just now spotted by that overlord from urban he's still dropping gas in the midst of this but i'll be interested to see it looks like there is going to be precisely one actually attacking the larva there actually 150 resources precisely as zerglings are spawning but the drones are going to have to defend themselves here initially and that is a drone and a zealot and a second zealot's already on the way so i'm going to give initial advantage to range overall potentially here so the drones scattered this is also lost mining time one drone down Second drone down. Great micro thus far from range. The Zerglings just now spawning. The Zerglings have shredded the shield, but a second Zealot already here, and the, the additional Zer Zerglings ignoring the natural expansion. So Urban taking some early game economic hindrances, but might be able to recover rapidly because he did get a quick third hatchery up and online. And with the turnaround, range does need to scatter back to home base. He's just camping a Zealot in no man's land. He's going to check out that 6 o'clock location to find that hatchery to get that confirmation. But let's see if ranged has the solid blockade. That forge is gonna come up somewhat late. And now we're gonna see if there's any vacant holes. I think they, yeah, I'm not sure that this is a, well, anyway, we got a zealot there to plug it regardless. And this has been a problem for ranged in game one, game two. The zealot checking out the six o'clock sees nothing there, but the zerglings without that cannon being morphed actually might be able to get this gateway in time. That's a lot of Zerglings, so tempting the Zealots out might even be able to pick one off. It looks like they're just doing the damage, going to back off in the meantime. The Zealot able to get some damage done, at least economically, in drone transfer. Looks like he has one kill, so Durban going to have to, and pulling those Zerglings back to now deal with that Zealot, so that pocketed Zealot being amazing for range and really throwing Urban off his game. Yet another kill. So that's going to be two drone kills. The drones once again pulling off mining, and this is massive amounts of delay to Urban's early game economy. So ranged having a fantastic amount of interruption to start. Two overlords in between and three more zealots starting to fan out. And this is turning into a clinic right now. Overlord blockade for Urban. 
dropping a fourth hatchery on top of everything else, maybe trying to make up the difference of all of the problems he's had thus far, but it's going to be a minute before this Overlord finishes, and he needs more more Zerglings immediately. He needs both Zerglings and drones right now. Two Zealots holding position. That actually might have been a mistake, as the Zerglings are going to be able to get a surround and potentially a kill here, but range getting a little bit too fancy. He's already ahead. Probe also sneaking out of the line. It looks like a second cannon getting dropped, recognizing that Urbmon, if he was going to recover this, would have to play extremely aggressive. Stargate about halfway finished. Urban, I think, is relegated to going 5-hatch Hydra direct after all of the damage that's been done initially. He still managed to hold the Zerglings here. It looks like the Zealot's returning for range. He probably could have pushed up and gotten additional damage. Overlord also getting... Ooh, that's actually pretty bad, too, because with this Stargate... This Overlord very likely going to get wiped out, so it's going to be two very quick Overlord kills for Urban as well. So early game getting stymied all the way around. He's got four hatch Hydra in the oven right this second. The Zerglings moving up. They're still not speed upgraded. Moving up to engage the Zealots. Sees a pocket of five and actually going to retreat in response to this. Hydra Sten exposed out on the front and... With range, actually, if he gets that plus one weapons and zealot leg speed finished, if he just keeps these zealots alive and active, he's got a really strong economy. So this overlord going to get wiped out. He just wants to check with that initial Corsair to see what the, the saturation's like. Urban actually oversaturating a little bit for the stage of the game where he's at in this stage. I think he's hoping that he can get a delayed attack out of this. However, upon seeing the drones at the natural and maybe across the six. I don't know if range got a look at it. Instead, he's still attacking forward with the zealots. Recognizing Urban's one chance into this since he's not applying hydralis pressure right this second. And his one chance in this was to turn around and heavily drone. But that's also allowing this overlord to escape and this overlord potentially to be a delayed escape. And Urban at the 30 drone count and a handful of Zerglings and hydralis now, not in as bad a position as he would be otherwise. The, the Corsair is also not getting their free kill of that Overlord in forward field. So Urban recovering a little bit here. He's still behind. We got a gateway flood here from range. He's comfortable. But Urban not so devastated that he can't recover as far as a turnaround. He's definitely fighting uphill though. But as soon as plus one weapons finish, look for range to immediately turn around and apply some aggression. Right now he's producing a high Templar. So, and getting Sidestorm, also dropping some defensive cannons out in the front, which is a little bit of an overstep because he saw that there weren't a massive amount of Hydra. This isn't a huge Hydralisk force marching to his front. Although I take it back, we see a bunch of Hydralisk being built behind this. So it looks like Urban is going for, it looks like a four hatch turnaround pressure in the midst of this and was thinking about a front door cascade. So range's game sense superior to mine by far. Pressing in one cannon down, not a lot of all, none of the hydralisks. So the bulk of the hydralisks were not yet on the front to support this. So the zealots getting a good amount of damage done. More hydralisks now grouping up, but the zealots outnumber the hydralisks. And the corsairs they get wiped out, but we're able to create some distraction out in the background. Urban trying to micro, but Urban in trouble now actually because this is plenty of cannons. That psi storm is finished. There's a Psystorm on the front. I don't think Urban's going to crack this. And on top of that, ranged is going to be building a heavy attack force underneath. And Urban on the three bases he's got, looks like he's dropping a fifth hatchery now. I don't know that he's going to pace the supply. And also at the, the worker count of 30, if he had gone up to 50, grabbed an additional base, might have been able to pace this, but ranged economically very far ahead. High Templar pressing out to the front, looking to drop some Psystorms. Ooh, getting some good Psystorm. Right there, well, not the best. Leaves two weakened Hydralisk, but that's enough for these Zealots to pose a threat and bully Urban back a bit. A little bit of an over, honestly, a little bit of over aggression there by range. I wonder if he was peeking up to check whether there was a mutation to Lurker. In the meantime, range staging up to go ahead and grab his third. No attempt at a fourth base for Urban as of yet. Still waiting on that hatchery and grabbing upgrades. But he also, again, a delay because of the Hydralisk pressure in between. A delayed drone push. A bit of a pause, it looks like. The Hydralisk wanting to push in there. Looks like they're both experiencing a bit of lag. 
Ooh, it's going to favor Urban with that bit of lag because it looks like some high tempo are getting picked off midfield. But this pocket of Zealots has managed to cycle in between. Fortunately for Urban, there's a decent sized Hydralisk force and a close reinforcement point. So ranged in splitting his army, not going to be able to utilize the superior numbers where if he had kept that army concentrated and utilized some star uh, size storms, that might have been an artifact of the lag. So Urban might have gotten a, a bit of a reprieve there. Some cannons morphing. If these get taken out, actually, before they're in place, this could be a big Urban turnaround. turnaround. So moving up, picking off the probe, now working on the cannon lines, the Zealots storming in. But this is that's a lot of resources down the bank for very little cost for Urban. And the Hydralists pressing in behind, they're not able to pick off a High Templar. But this is also keeping ranged back and buying Urban a bit of time. He's not able to pick off the Nexus, and that's the big part. So yeah, the cannons are down. The Nexus still stands, and range can easily defend this. And on top of that, Urban has not taken a fourth base. If you look at the supply differential, it's massive. And plus two weapons and plus one armor about to complete. And plus one weapons is not yet finished for Urban. So situation looking pretty bad. He also doesn't have a massive amount of drones to saturate to oversaturate these bases so really what he's got to rely on is his is range to really flub some of these engagements and even those three cannons not really going to be sufficient although it looks like the pylon critical pylon got wiped out that's going to delay plus two weapons so urban getting a, a few reprieves here and there the hydralis sneaking in between range doing a great job of protecting the high templar empty size well i take it back some high templar exposed to the north there's just too many high templar so the High Templar are getting wiped out, but there's still three remaining. And Urban's still getting pretty good value, honestly. And doing a great job of pinning ranged back as he continues to macro forward. So the drone count has increased to 42, which is closer. He's still well down in supply. But he's going to... Because of the unpowered... Okay, now it's repowered. Because of that unpowered, it's, it's honestly ending up a little bit better situation than it would have been otherwise. Hydralisk's trying to dive back. The problem for him now is his range just has such a massive supply lead. He's got a good amount of Psy Storm, and he can just bully around the map. Right now, range just doing due diligence, I think checking to make sure that Urban hasn't grabbed a fourth. And I think as soon as he confirms that he hasn't got a fourth, he can go ahead and stage outside the natural expan- or outside, or I should say, the third of Urban on this high ground plateau and exchange Psy Storms and Dragoon Volleys all day. We do have a, a Ventral Sax upgrade in the background for Urban. Which I think he almost get, I haven't seen him really utilize it, so almost getting it reflexively. Planning the Zealots at nearby force, just to check. Another High Templar getting picked off. Zealot camped near there, just in case. But yeah, now that range has confirmed that, starting to try to push forward. Is going to be dissuaded by the Lurkers, but again, it's not up to ranged to take down Urban. It's up to Urban to slow down ranged at this stage. So trying to sneak forward. Did force a Zealot kill on his own Psy Storm right there. That's always... That's got to be embarrassing for a High Templar, where it's like, ha, I will use my psychotic powers to obliterate you, Zerg, and then your buddy Bob just got fried because he was standing in the wrong spot. Anyway, fourth base coming online for ranged. He is well ahead. He's ahead at three bases, actually sneaking an army underneath the lower ramp, so testing the corners, pushing forward, into this might get some open field psi storms i don't see an observer oh there's an observer just pocketed along the side but ranged overextending a bit with some of these units but he can afford to overextend right this second the observer finally moving forward allowing the dragoons to get on top of those lurkers but honestly this was a terrible exchange between where ranged had a massive supply lead all of a sudden with that last engagement and a lot of the units dying to the north urban has closed the gap within 20 supply Despite, oh, and look at a back-end trap of Lurkers. Great positioning from Urban going to wipe out that attack for us. The problem for Urban, though, is he still needs to take out that fourth and that third and potentially grab two additional bases to stay in it. But he's low, where I said, okay, he's kind of neglected to utilize drop prior. He's starting to load up drop now. And if he can, uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure if the Observer saw it alongside. But if he can get a good Doom drop on top of the, the gateway lines, he might end up sneaking back into this game. We'll see. He's grabbing the 9 o'clock now. This base is not yet saturated. The main is going to mine out. So it's basically got to be a massive lurker drop into the main on top of the gateways. Wipe out the gateways so that range's economy is uh, honestly insufficient. 
So it's, okay, he's got an economy, but what, what is he going to build with? And he has to rebuild. That's a way for Urban to sneak back into this. But he also has to survive an assault on the front from Range's counterattack. He's currently got a 15 supply lead. And he needs to find some sort of purchase post that to sneak into it. So the Doom Drop's loaded. This is Urban. I'm not going to say it's his... No, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this is probably his last shot in establishing a foothold to recontrol the game. Moving out with some Hydralisks to create a distraction on the front. Wisely so. It looks like a single Zealot's going to find this base at the 9 o'clock. A little bit of bad news. That Zealot... I think spotted this? Is it moving the army? Is it moving back? The army is moving towards the north, but it's holding. And now we have a drop, but the drop's on the Nexus. And it's not the Nexus that needs to be targeted here because there's just not a lot of resources left. It is in fact the gateways that need to be targeted. But a good drop from Urban. If he can take out that observatory, that would be absolutely huge. But there's also the counterattack that's starting to stage from range. It looks like the reinforcements that are right in the main. Now the Lurker's actually starting to plant on that gateway line, so it's not over yet. I think Urban recognizing the situation... Well, now as he recognizes the situation, starting to move forward. A few High Temple are moving in. He's drawing that entire army back. Now some additional side storms being planted, but the problem for Urban is, is yes, while he wiped out a good amount of tech, including the... Well, he hasn't dropped the observatory yet. While he's wiped out a lot of tech, he hasn't stopped the gateways from producing. He has evened up the supply count briefly, and that Nexus isn't that large a loss for range because this is no longer a mining base. So Erdman did some damage with that drop. He's now up at the 9 o'clock and holding. He hasn't saturated it yet. He's got some drones right there, but this is still three bases up for ranged. The gateways are still humming. But with that, honestly, Erdman has closed the gap a bit. Range still has a stronger economy, though, and all he has to do is rebuild that observatory, and he'll still be in a fine position. I think there's still a good... I wish there was, like, a little panel I could pull up to tell you how many observers were alive lately on the map. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Some more lurkers moving forward. There's at least this observer. Actually, Range calling GG right there! Whoa! Really? I didn't think it was that dire! But Range calling it! Let's, let's rewind a little bit. Did he just not have enough size storm? So he's got, I'm not sure he recognized the position. So this, so he loses the Templar archives and the observatory. He's got to rebuild that someplace. Supply counts are even, which is actually oftentimes Zerg favored. Upgrades are still massively in Range's favor though. Like three, plus three weapons here versus just plus two here. Hive is nowhere near done. We got the hatchery right here. Okay, let's move it down. Urban moves out. He's got the lurkers. Maybe he was just concerned about the lurker count. So High Templar here. Right now he can't queue up High Templar. Yeah, he does. He needs to rebuild all that tech was the potentially the problem here. He's got the cybernetics core waiting right here. And Urban starting to make motions. The Dragoons engage a little bit away from that army. And it looks like, yeah, range is going to tap out. I think he just didn't recognize the situation. He sees this large Hydralisk force. Presumed he couldn't repel it. Honestly, I think he could have repelled it behind these cannons. Or stopping and reinforcing. I'm not sure he realized that Urban didn't have this 9 o'clock mining. I think he presumed Urban's economy was larger than it was. Supply count is even, so that does put Range's army down. But I still honestly think that was pretty fightable. That one might come back to haunt Range. One big thing is he doesn't... Yeah, the Lurker, the lurker count is high. And we only have a single observer somewhere out in the map. We saw it earlier. We got this one observer to cover a lot of territory. So maybe Range just worried about the position, but what what a turnaround. Great drop from Urban to slide back into this. And holding strong. So Urban takes a game. I'm a bit shocked that Range GG in a final right there, though. But we'll see. Still, it is a best of seven, so he's got a lot of games to catch up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.